Okay, now we're gonna have a look at my emergency gear and my medical kit. Um, starting at the top, survival filter, really good. You can back flush it, imported that from America. I love them, brilliant. Um, that will be used as a backup, it's my backup one, um, because I will be using PNG water purification sachets, which do 10 litres of water. You I've got, uh, or Mike's got, two collapsible buckets that I gave him, a 12 litre bucket, so we pour water into one because uh, of the clay sediment out in the Yukon, once you get past the white water, it's pretty horrendous from what I can see. So we mix one of these in, whisk it up, it will flocculate and coagulate, and then we filter it into the other bucket with a muslin cloth or cheese cloth or something like that, and that will be drinkable straight away. And we plan on having <clears throat> 10 litres every day that we're gonna make up before we go to bed. <clears throat> these are brilliant, they can be quite hard to get hold of, but I managed to get some. Moving along up here, bin bag for all the rubbish so we don't take, um, oh, sorry, we take everything away with us and leave no trace behind. So everything going there, use one of these clips to save tying it up every day. Um, goggles and a 3M, because I like it, because I value my lungs, a 3M breathing mask, so it's just a face mask, but it's suitable for smoke. Um, and it's got a uh, valve on the front to make it easier if you're puffing and panting a bit, but um, that will mean that if it's forest fires, we can go straight through. Spare spoon, high-vis jacket, wrapped in um, paracord, this is really strong stuff. Bright yellow, because I like it, I can see it, it's really good. Spare sun cream, lighter, always sellotape the top just so that it doesn't spark anywhere in your bag and do something silly. And then um, I've got a spare top to my stove, um, which is brilliant, and just in case the other bit, um, the jet oil that Mike's bringing breaks, you, you need to have a backup for that. Cable ties, electrical tape, and then uh, what I do is I've got Gorilla sealant, this sets very quickly, uh, and uh, to save space I use T-Rex tape rather than Gorilla tape and I wrap it round something, so it's, this was the sort of biggest thing, and that saves space, time, um, sorry, weight should I say, so that's really good. A couple of straps just in case we need it for something, you never know, and then I've got a backup, another backup thing, so god we've got loads haven't we? So, um, in my buoyancy aid is a set of waterproof matches, so I've got those, lighter, and then we've got um, magnesium um, sparks there, so fire starting kit, and then I always again tape everything up just in case that I manage to do something silly and set fire to my bag. Medical kit, take a travel towel to keep myself clean, um, obviously microfiber, tiny little thing. Biodegradable toilet tissues. Um, depends what you want to do, really. I'm not sure if some, where we're going. Um, I'll probably end up putting them in the bin bag, to be honest, and taking them back with me. Um, but anyway, toilet wipes are brilliant for wiping yourself, like armpits and stuff like that, apart from the obvious stuff. My medical kit I'll go through very quickly. So I have Zapanes um, because I've got a bad back. Um, my top tip is on the back um, is to put your prescription with you. I've obviously covered my name up, but um, to put the prescription on there so it shows if you've got stop that, that they belong to you and it also gives you your dosage. I have the same with this is Senecot. So if I take the Zapane, it bungs you up. Senecot. Again, what I do is I tape the instructions to the back so that you've always got them because there's nothing worse than wondering how many you should be taking. Uh, it's quite a lot of zapping. Um, ibuprofen, lots of that. Gaviscon, just in case the food doesn't agree with me. Again, you don't want to be out there in, in agony, so that weighs nothing. So we've got Gaviscon. Pair of scissors, I use Compede to help blisters sometimes. I've got an inhaler because I'm asthmatic. Um, I use metanium um, for any rashes, so if you get a rubbing under your arms or something, which I haven't really yet, but this clears it up at night, is amazing, and if you're sitting down for an extended amount of time, 
um, I don't know what's going to happen. So having had a couple of children with bad nappy rashes, this is the best stuff. Without you know, without benefit, uh, without without doubt. Imodium. Again, instructions on the back. That should do you. Stop us doing. Um, that would uh, stop us having to keep pulling in. And then uh, electrolytes. I had to put them in a bag, but I use pure electrolyte tablets. So they're just pure salt tablets, I think, really sodium tablets. Um, I'll have a couple of those a day uh, to keep my electrolyte levels up. Um, and then I have taken a photo of the container it came out of, just in case customs stop me and wonder what they are, but they can confiscate them if they want. And that is it. So we're getting there, nearly done.